For over two years, woke activists have been desperately trying to convince everybody that they should boycott Hogwarts Legacy, that they shouldn't play this game because J.K. Rowling has one opinion that they don't like and she deserves to be canceled and anything she's involved with just promotes transphobia. Well, here we are, less than 24 hours away from the official public release of Hogwarts Legacy, and the reviews are finally rolling in from the critics. With everything we've seen from the woke mainstream media pushing these boycott things, pushing these stories, pushing this J.K. Rowling hate simply over her opinion that 99% of the world agrees with, people are really wondering what these reviews were going to look like. No doubt that all this controversy would have an effect on how some people scored the game. Well, here we are. The review embargo has lifted. And surprisingly, the critics right now, it looks like they're okay with Hogwarts Legacy. An 86 on Metascore. Now, this is for PlayStation 5. We've also got the Xbox Series X all the way up at 89 and the PC at 83. Again, the number of people reviewing them, definitely different. Most people have reviewed the PlayStation 5 version, but all numbers in the 80s. Not something that everyone expected with all the talk and all the discussion that's been out there beforehand, especially when we saw people admit, the IGN reviewer admitted on a podcast over a week ago that nobody at IGN wanted to review this because they were scared. IGN's Hogwarts Legacy reviewer already admitted on a podcast, nobody at the company wanted to review this game because they're scared of doing it. Well, he did do it for IGN, and he really liked it. He gave it a 9 out of 10. But despite that, IGN could not help themselves because, again, all these companies, these news sites, these gaming outlets, they are so scared of liking this that they have to put things like this in their actual review. Look at this. IGN Hogwarts Legacy Review, uh, pretty well received so far. 14,000 likes, 700 dislikes their Hogwarts Legacy review. It's getting pretty good views. But look at this. Look at this cop-out that they put in the pinned comment. The elephant in the room with Hogwarts Legacy is Harry Potter's creator, J.K. Rowling, whose comments about transgender people in recent years have left a sour taste in the mouths of many current and former Potter fans, both at IGN and the world at large. This has driven some to call for a boycott of the Wizarding World altogether, including Hogwarts Legacy, though Rowling was not directly involved and there are good reasons both in-game and out to believe developers at Avalanche don't necessarily share her views Regardless, IGN has always and will always continue to champion human rights causes and support people speaking with their wallets in whatever manner they choose. As critics, our job is to answer the question of whether or not we find Hogwarts Legacy to be fun to play and why, whether it's ethical to play is a separate but still very important question. So just as in virtually all cases, we're choosing to expose and address the views of the franchise creators separately from our consideration of the work of the hundreds of game developers and evaluate Hogwarts Legacy as it stands, leaving behind the scenes context to be considered in addition to that evaluation rather than in place of it so it can be weighted according to your own values. What this entire thing, this entire little cop out here is, hey guys, don't hate us. We really like this game. Our reviewer really liked this game. We think this game's fucking awesome. Please don't hate us because you hate JK Rowling. That's really what that is. And you know, Legacy Killer on another tweet points this out. While Hogwarts Legacy right now is getting mostly glowing reviews, I find it interesting the many game outlets that publish stories about the boycott campaign have not in fact done reviews as of yet. That includes GameSpot, Kotaku, Polygon, The Gamer, etc. Now, I haven't necessarily seen any of those come in. You know, obviously some people are going to be a little more slow to get it out, but when that embargo lifts, a lot of these big outlets try to get out right away. But a lot of the people that were talking about the boycott and publishing about the boycott and pushing the boycott haven't reviewed it yet. Whether that's because they didn't get a copy to review or because they don't want to review it out of principle, who knows? But the, the drama is not over with this. You know that these woke activist freaks are going to go after this IGN guy who did this review. You know that they're going to go after anybody that gives it a positive review. You've already seen these campaigns starting on social media. It's pathetic. But right now... I'm a little bit shocked that we're seeing like 86, 89. I thought it was probably going to be in the 77, 78, maybe crack 80, just because some people are going to be so afraid to give this thing a positive review. But right now, it looks though like people are giving positive reviews despite trying to say, please don't hate me. Please don't hate me for doing this. I'm just doing my job. I'm just reviewing the game. I hate, I hate JK Rowling too, just like all you woke losers out there. Hogwarts Legacy is going to be fucking massive. It's going to be huge. 
With numbers like that from the critics who are clearly already biased, I can't wait to play the game personally. I'm going to be going live midnight Eastern tonight, basically, uh, over on RK Outpost Gaming. It's my small gaming channel. I almost never do anything there. We're going to start ramping that up. But head over there. I'll put a link in the in the pinned comment below and in the description below. You'll see it, RK Outpost Gaming. Turn notifications on. I'll go live right around midnight, and we're going to play some Hogwarts Legacy. Hopefully, it's good. Hopefully, these devs have done a great job. Hopefully, the delay was worth it. It gets polished up. I can't wait to play it. Pretty much all good things we're hearing so far. Doesn't mean it's good by any stretch of the imagination. That'll be determined by the fans. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.